G'day scrappers. Today I thought I'd scrap out the world's smallest PC. <laughs> uh, no, they're not lit. I just come back from a pickup, so I've just got to find the uh, the PCs that I want to scrap out. I'll just make a bit of room here. <laughs> so. Core i3 HPs, nice. Uh, quite a lot. Asus, Asus, there they are. <laughs> oh, you should see this box, what a nightmare this box is. I'll just uh, get out all one trolley full all right oh, here we go the world's smallest PC Intel inside and uh, running uh, Windows 8 Pro so the it's the Intel NUC or NUC um, so that's what they're kind of known as the little nucks <laughs> um, yeah so there we go so I'm going to scrap one out and see what the world's smallest PC looks like so we've got everything here pretty interesting I got four of them, so we'll uh, we'll take them in, and uh, yeah, I'm going to keep three of them and just scrap one out, just to uh, sacrifice one, just to have a look what it's all about, and you know, technically they're probably not the world's smallest PC because. Uh, the world's smallest PC apparently or computer is the size of a grain of rice so but I think this is the world's smallest practical PC that you can yeah you could buy maybe they've made a little bit smaller since I doubt it um, yeah this box what a nightmare check this out it's all hard drives that have been um, opened up so they can destroy the platters and so what they do they bend the platters and then they use a uh, a grinder and they grind through the actual surface right so rendering them rendering them pretty much useless as far as you know not being able to recover any data I told them that, uh, you know, I said, look, you know, instead of going, uh, spending so much time and opening up the actual um, whole hard drive, I said, why not just drill a hole? Most uh, companies that need to destroy their data will, will just drill a hole straight through and, um, and pretty much render the platters useless anyway but they said no no um, according to their um, regulations they have to actually open them up and physically destroy every single platter so oh well i guess i don't normally scrap out uh, these new style hard drives because the circuit boards don't have much gold recovery anymore so um but since they've already gone to the trouble, um, you know, there's really not much gold recovery here. And I've still got to do a bit of work to uh, get out um, a bit of this stuff, the magnet, and take off the board in order to turn this into cast aluminium. So I'm not really making much more money. Um, but the probably the only good thing is it saves me doing it. Um, I'm starting to run out of uh, hard drive magnets because um, uh, I always leave them on the bench and then they stick to the bottom of a PC or something steel and then I end up throwing away into scrap steel so um, 
at least uh, I'm, I'm going to build up a new collection of uh, hard drive magnets even though these modern ones they're only a very small one but they're nice and lightweight and easy to carry around uh, so there is a absolute stack of them you know uh, probably 150 of them in here so a lot of work fiddly little work that I didn't really want to do but at least you know I'm going to get cast aluminium I will get these circuit boards even though they I'm just going to sell them as mid-grade boards um, can get a little bit of copper can get these little readers out um, iron the alley or with the copper on can throw them in as motors transformers sort of like copper bearing stuff and the other thing that I noticed a lot of which is a, a real shame are these really nice well he's uh, yeah they're mostly two gigabyte ram sticks but what they've done is that they've they've broken them everyone in half you know and <laughs> ram doesn't hold memory um as soon as you turn off the pc it uh, removes its memory so it's a real shame that uh, uh yeah all the ram sticks there's quite a few probably 50 ram sticks in here and they've all been split just they've just cracked them in half um still okay fine for gold recovery but you know some of them might have been reusable being two gigabyte sticks they were you know i can sell two gigabyte ram sticks um get some value out of them not much but a little bit but anyway that's my problem to deal with some UPS's, a lot of PC's, only one printer which is a, a good balance, um, you know probably uh, 30, 30 odd PC's to one printer, that's really good. Hard drives, well, I'll deal with them another time. I'll just do them slowly as I've got a spare few minutes every now and then, but for now, I want to take these in and uh, scrap one of these world's smallest computer. <laughs> so let's go and uh, get this job done. Uh, I wasn't going to do a video today, but I thought, well, since I've just come back from this pickup and I've got these interesting little PCs thought I'd give them a go and uh, yeah I want to keep uh, three of them I just put them in my collection for uh, you know just for uh, interest sake um, and yeah scrap one out yeah so as I said they're um, technically they're probably not the world's smallest computer because um, I have heard of very very tiny little grain size computers um, so no doubt about that, but as a uh, standard working normal uh, computer These are about the uh, smallest you can get so I'm calling them the world's smallest PC Intel NUC Intel NUC um, All right Well, I dare say it's not going to take very long Looks like we've got four screws and see what we get out of this little bugger okay and that's just plastic ABS <laughs> alright well there we go we've got a little uh, hard drive in here and I guess the motherboard should be underneath this casing <laughs> well there we go just a uh, little hard drive nothing spectacular actually to restore these if you can get a, a decent sized SSD and put it in there you might uh, speed up the uh, computer a bit uh, well there's our motherboard 
How cool. Couple of screws. Well, we've got a little ram stick. It's a good Kingston. I can't tell what size it is. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't stand out. Probably uh, two gigabytes. And there's the motherboard. Well, there you go. Now, how do I get it out? Just pop it out, I suppose. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh. There we go, just a bit of steel and uh, plastic on the side. That's it. And here we go, here's the motherboard. Looks like a little uh, a network card. Tiny. And yeah, it's got a little uh, tantalum and some nice little MLCCs, another tanty. And this must be where the CPU is. And I'm pretty sure this CPU will be a onboard CPU. So uh, like a BGA mounted onto the actual circuit board. I'm assuming. Oh, there's a nice little fan. A few more screws. Well, this is the easiest computer scrap out I've ever done. Hold it in one hand and unscrew it with the other. <laughs> Pretty awesome. But yeah, very cute little thing. And uh, I thought since I picked them up, I, I, I might as well show you. So that's just the heatsink. The aluminium heatsink, tiny. And that's the fan, awesome cute little things there's the battery just stuck on <laughs> that's cool and there's the CPU and um, it's a quite a modern looking BGA with the silicon top so as far as uh, gold recovery there's really not much value here just simply with the uh, silicon top here so yeah some uh, more tantalum capacitors and you know nice little MLCC scattered around tiny little crystal oscillator a couple of them but there we go there <laughs> that's the motherboard how's that it's got everything you pretty much need so you <laughs> You know, obviously we need the the RAM slot, so I'm assuming this would be about a two gigabyte RAM stick. It just doesn't say it, or I can't see it. It might only be one gigabyte. But there you go, one or two gigabyte RAM, and the motherboard isn't much bigger than the actual RAM stick. That's funny as it's got all the little ports everything you need another one around here another USB 3 I think wow and there's the CPU so it's on board so but technically it can still sell this as a motherboard if if you got a lot of them and you were just scrapping them out as motherboards it's still a little motherboard it's got pretty much everything um, you'd expect not much as far as gold recovery that's for sure. Probably, uh, you know, like this is worth virtually nothing as a scrap motherboard. But, you know, obviously I only scrapped this one out just to uh, have a look. You know, I get them for free. So why not sacrifice one 
uh, at least I've got a, you know, if it's, uh, if it's only one gigabyte, it's no good to me. But if it's two gigabyte, I can get a few dollars for it. Otherwise, gold recovery. And that's really the only value out of it, aside from a little hard drive. Nice little uh, hard drive caddy here. And that's it. That's the Intel NUC, the world's smallest PC, according to me. <laughs> wow. There we go. And that's what it looks like complete. These, they've still got the, um, the plastic over the top to keep them nice and fresh. I'll just keep them like that whilst they're in storage. But beautiful. See if I can um, power uh, power one up and get it working. Oh, guys, nice quick video. The world's smallest computer. That's all you get. Not a great deal. A little bit of value, <laughs> but really cute and really fun to uh, to do. All right. Now I better get back to uh, real work and start um, processing these PCs before I go and do my next pickup. It's busy, busy, busy as usual. So I better get back to it. All right, guys. Hope that was a bit of fun for you. Keep scrapping. World's smallest PC. Hope you enjoyed that. Catch you next time.